On December 22nd, when temperatures in Kelowna dipped as low as minus 25, what were you doing? Probably not swimming in the lake. Meet Chris Law. Well, that morning was definitely a surprise, but when I'm in my routine, I think it was important that I just stuck with my routine. And regardless of the cold, I was going in that morning. Um, I made sure I brought someone with me to make sure they watch and support me just in case anything happens because that's kind of a, a risk factor when you're getting to minus 25. But it's taking the precautions and doing the breath work before you go in and when you're in it, just staying calm. And I was actually excited to go in that day. Yeah. What did uh, it feel like? Well, your body kind of goes numb at some point. So once you get out of the cold, your body's already telling and registering you to warm up. So you're, you'll start to tingle, you'll start to get red, a little bit red, um, but making sure you have a warm blanket to warm up in after putting on your shoes and your socks, because at those temperatures, you don't want to stay out for too long. So this is something that you do regularly. Why? What, what benefits do you see? And I know you encourage the people in your yoga classes to do it as well. Yeah. What's the why? I think because it's challenging. And my why is getting up each morning and trying something that's challenging is important. We, uh, we live in a society where we tend not to leave the house or get uncomfortable too often these days. So coming in and knowing that it's beneficial to my body, looking at all the research and the studies that are being done, uh, I just, I don't see why I wouldn't do it. Right. Do you start the day by overcoming something right away. I mean, you certainly can't sleep through this. No, no, you can't. Um, and it brings you back to nature. Like, how often do we go to the water, especially during the winter, and just being able to see the mountains and see the birds, it's, it really is relaxing for me once you overcome the intensity of the cold. So on a day like uh, the day we discuss when it's minus 25, there you are in your squat position What's going through your mind, or what do you do to take your mind off any discomfort? Breathing techniques are great. So you could do something called box breathing, which is an inhale for four, hold for four, exhale four, and hold for four. So doing rounds of that will help take your mind off the cold and focus more on, okay, I need to breathe, because that's the most important thing, especially in the water. It's very overwhelming. It can take your breath away as soon as you get in, but once you're able to stabilize, you can just appreciate what's happening in the body. And of course, looking around in nature, it's very calming. Uh, you're on some sort of a streak now for doing this every day? Today is gonna be day 31, and there was never a goal intended. It was just, I wanna come and see how it feels in my body, and I'm realizing the more I come, the better I feel. Is this cold water therapy for everyone? I would say I'm not a doctor, so refer to your doctor to make sure it's safe for you. But this could be used in many different ways. You could start with just cold showers. You can even start with putting your hands or feet in cold water, uh, but working your way up and building tolerance to cold immersion up to the neck could be for everyone. Yeah. And when I first started asking you about it, right away you went to the mental element of it, uh, how it affects your mindset almost as much as your body. Because it's so overwhelming, if your mind is thinking and it's worried about the cold, you're going to want to get out really quickly. But overcoming that overwhelming feeling by focusing on your breath or calming the mind. It, yeah, it does a lot. Helps you overcome whatever other challenges you might meet in a day. Yeah, we don't know what the rest of the day is going to hold. So coming out here, doing something challenging first thing in the day, it really does set the tone for your day or for your week.